Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. We are live from the Podville Media Facility in Washington, D.C. and around the world. You are listening to The Mike O'Mara Show. Welcome to the party, and please join us along with our friends in great places like Two Egg, Florida, Killeen, Texas, Nampa, Idaho, Flemington, New Jersey, and Stonington, Maine, along with uh, Davos, Switzerland, a beautiful place to be. Uh, the Mike O'Mara Show is on now, and uh, I usually, for many, many moons, have come in here <clears throat> and railed against uh, big corporations, especially when it came to... Uh, Insurance companies, cable companies, yeah. the the big entities where you're a number. I am here to tell you that yesterday um, I spent the bulk of my day um, going through the unnecessary subscriptions that I have to stuff. I got an app for it. Oh, wow. Not really an app, but I got a service for it where I, I was able to uh, collectively organize uh, God almighty, all the little things, uh, the number of articles that I have been so curious about that I have uh, ended up subscribing to something is stunning to me. And I was oh, just uh, like so- to click through on Facebook. Like you see something and you've reached your, say your Not Washington necessarily with- that, but, but I, I would do a Google, a Google saw uh, news search and with my Google news search, the, a story would pop up and I'd be fascinated by it. And I would be so curious about it that when I opened up the uh, source and they said you have to subscribe to get it, I would uh, go ahead and do that. Now, the uh, plan has been for quite some time, I may have uh, spoken about this, to uh, edit this and get this get this taken care of. Well, I think it would, and, you, uh, I did the same thing and I think it sort of inspired you. Because you, I'm faking it today, guys. Why don't you tell people that you hate the world? Please, I am. Just tell them how you feel. My, I have, I have had back injuries. I have had uh, ACL replacements in my knee. I have had my nose broken twice. Uh, I have uh, been in a various state of circumstances. I've done shows with migraines. Yeah, I have done shows with deaths in the family. I have done shows under every circumstance. But today, this wrist oh. is, I have no, I was trying to put the back on a watch and it ain't getting better. It's getting worse. I'm going to the doctor right after the show is over. I have never experienced, it's just in the last hour or so, I am sitting here trying to move my hand, my, my, my hand. My, my, my hand. I've never experienced pain like this in my life. You took the, to you see. had a brace on when we, when we signed on. Was that helping at all? Uh, no, nothing's helping. Okay. Nothing's helping at all. Other, Is I'm there a possibility that you leave. fractured your own wrist? I think so. Yeah. Now, now I'm beginning to think that maybe, uh, with a compression fracture that yeah. I did something yeah. severe, but I hoped. Did yeah, you put I pliers know. to your when wrist? I was, when I was out there, what's that? Did I went? No, I didn't do it. I, 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 I what wrist. I did was. What I did was, Oscar, I was pushing body weight. Yeah, down yeah, yeah. Your whole like body weight. This, yes. And bending the wrist back, yeah. and then it just was a slow burn. And I have to talk about it because I talk about everything that's on my mind. And I'm coming in here like a whiny little biatch. Yeah. And I am very frustrated that I'm whining about this because God knows Rob Spiewak has performed with much worse circumstances, even within the last year. Yeah, but he was so. hammered. <laughs> maybe maybe you need to drink, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> because up until it almost killed me, it kept me alive. Yeah, you're like, oh, this I, is sustaining. That is as far. <laughs> that is as far as I can bend. Where does it hurt? Back. Yeah, exactly it on your wrist. Right. Show me. Show me on the doll. Right there. Okay. That's where it's and does it right manifest there. itself down to your Mike fingers is- as well, or is it a centralized pain? It's a centralized pain in the wrist. It's throb, mm. throb. Yeah, I like think, he's touching I, her and pointing at his wrist. I think the fracture is a is a smart bet. <laughs> but how could I move my fingers if I fractured my wrist? It's a it's a baby fracture that is a, something happened. It's because it's not nerve. If it's not manifesting itself in your fingers, I don't think it sucks. Well, it does suck. Are we it sucks. Ma- oh, this is tough, and we'll all get to here someday. 
not just Rob or I, but our listenership. Are we in are we in Boniva territory? You mean like uh, where the bones themselves They're brittle would have a lot of <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't doubt that, that that this is something, if I did it at 25, I wouldn't have the same problem. I'm pretty sure that would be the Are case. Are you drinking By a way, glass of whole a, milk every day? <laughs> no, but maybe that's it. I don't know. But I'm, uh, you know. What, what, what's a bone uh, density the, Right now, my like? health situation is precarious. Dire. I mean, I've had other, you've had bad, really bad health. Yes. I am, my, my situation, I am waiting on a back procedure. I am taking the Monfato uh injection <laughs> once a week that that i was winner fucking that's, allergic to that's a winner <laughs> that's great so they i have to take an allergy thing a a uh what do they call it uh antihistamine yeah an antihistamine an hour before i go get the mm. injection and then sit and wait an hour and in the meantime the doctor over there is going to look at my wrist Mm. Which is now added to that. When I was doing stuff, I didn't get hurt. Now that I'm sitting my ass well, at when, home. When you stop moving, Mike, you said that to me years ago. That's yeah, it. That's it. You die. You, you die. die. And mm. I went on a power walk the other night. And then Carla asked me last night, and I said, no, I'm not up for it. I feel like crap. My, I'm throbbing. Mm. And, I, and I could have gone. I don't play well with this pain. I play well with lots of pain, but I don't. This one I don't play well. well pe- so that, people I just, should thank know you for that letting you, me get that off my chest. When you power walk, you sometimes walk on your hands, and so that was not not well, a, he's not got a possibility. Sw- he's got to fling those hands you know, up Shecky, and down. I sometimes could reach through this monitor and tear your. <laughs> I know I'm safe because off. you only have one hand you know? today. You can't rip God me apart almighty. today. Uh, Do you, so uh, anyway, yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is I think a fair question. There are certain ailments that you as I. And maybe this is, um, what is it, chauvinistic or machismo, but you try to hide from your loved one because you don't want to seem like you're, um, you know, a broken bird that cannot provide or you're getting uh, older. With the back, I do that all the time. Okay, I don't great. tell anybody what's that. With the back, and especially when I'm out there playing, you know, right. you're, yeah. playing, you're not going to bitch about you it. You don't yeah. say, this is say impossible. to your friend, ow, ow, guys, I don't want to play today. It was cold to you. I am right now finding relief by taking my fingers and pulling it back over and see the swelling. Yeah, you've yeah. got some tendon issues. Yeah. Uh, it's a tendon thing. So that's that's what it is. And I think it's going to resolve, but right now it's not resolving. I'm going to uh, tell you, I've, I've, I rarely, I just go through a lot of different stuff and don't even think about it. This is kind of hard to ignore. I took my kid to school today. Drove him one-handed. Carla had this leftover for when she had, yeah. uh, what's that uh, thing you get when you're- Carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel. So I threw that on, and that, that was What about, um, that, that, I don't think that's sized for you. Yeah, First, it, let me it, it fit me, it fit okay. me well. It fit me um, well. You a know? lot of people no. don't know Mike has dainty hands. What about a sling? A sling around well, your shoulder. I swear to God today, you are so <laughs> shecky. No, it's not me, you Mike. You are so shecky Trust today. me. It's not me. It's not me. God. No. Dainty you. hands. I'll give you your da- dainty hands. <laughs> what about Jesus. a sling? Can't you make a sling out of uh, a towel? Yeah. I don't think right? I need a sling. Immobilize. I don't need a sling. Mm. I don't think. I'll find out, hopefully. So anyway, uh, getting back to my, uh, thank you for letting me vent that. Please. I had Have to. Have you taken was, any painkillers, uh, even if it's no, just like No, because ibuprofen? I got to take 5,000 things today. All right. To, to get ready for this other thing He's I'm gotta doing. He's got to get skinny. Yeah. And I'm not. I've, I'm flat. I'm going to be heavier when I go in today. La, la, la. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Man, I swear to God. You know what? 28, uh, 1,800 calories a day. It's, wow, that's not very many. <laughs> no, it's it's be, the the whole. I, I'm so mad today. I'm so sad. I'm so down. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's okay. I'll get through it. Okay. This show is my. I found it's my ray a, of light. I found a wrist exercise that may alleviate pain. Okay, it's a good video day. I know this sounds, and I don't want you to hurt yourself. But Does it, it put your fingers together? No. Can you take your hit your hands and just make a triangle with both of them? Like use your one hand to aid your other hand. How does that feel? Mike's trying it now yeah. for those of you at home just I'm listening. pressing on it. Yes. Looks like he's praying. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Looks like he's praying. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Looks like I can't figure out how to have Mike connect with the show. Oh, again. no. Don't Day be 12. mean. Don't be mean. <laughs> I didn't hurt your wrist. 
<laughs> yeah, but but do we not have the same problem we've had the last two days? Oh, no, I agree. God, God. Zoom is Zoom's a disaster. I'm sure it is. Yeah. All right. Blame it on Zoom. Yeah. Blame it on the multi billion dollar corporation. <laughs> <laughs> How does your uh, wrist feel now that you're doing Oxy, uh, Oscar's Magic? Oh, no, oh, no. no it was. No. Oh. While you were doing the pyramid thing, though, did it feel better? The man's in pain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got there. So there's something. We just have to learn yeah. how to reverse. Mm-hmm. Get out of that position. Okay, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, enjoy the show. Later. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Uh, um, that was a great video day. It is. <laughs> I'm really, I'm such a candy ass. You're I not. Such a candy ass. You You're are fine. not. You have proven so, in the past that you are not. This must really be a tragic pain. So this thing that I do yesterday, I go through and it is, uh, it is blissful. Now they have a thing on this uh, app. I'm not going to mention them by name because I don't know whether they're that good or yeah. not, but it helped me where they can quit for you. They can unsubscribe for you. They can do that. But they want a taste of it. Yeah, of course. When they lower your bills mm-hmm. or do that, so they say you can do it yourself. Well, I'm doing it myself. And the best way, really, to cut the cord on that—not cut the cord, no, no, no—to uh, eliminate some of these unnecessary subscriptions is to use a phone number if they've got a phone number. Yes. And then you get on and you tell them why I'm just trying to lower my bills. Yeah. It's, it's too expensive, and they're great, and it's bing bang boom. But after that was all done, I was still motivated because my. Uh, my greatest extravagance for years and years and years has been uh, I get everything on DirecTV. Yes. A- about about 5% of which I really use. And I get this lady, and her name is Tanya, and I will tell you that with all the bitching I've done before, this lady was spectacular. I don't think I was on the phone with her for more than 15 minutes. And in that 15 minutes... She took me from astronomical to the bare minimum and did it while I was on the phone. Don't ever believe when you are dealing with DirecTV that they can't do everything for you. Now, it was since I've been a customer for so long, I was in the loyalty department. Yeah, 25 years, baby. Of course. And she was, I said, I, I told her I loved her. Yeah. That's how special she was to me. Yep. And, and I got then off people the phone. showed up at your front door. As it was spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. It was spectacular. I was so happy. And then I said, all right, honey, now back to the other uh, behemoth from AT&T. I'm going to move on to the uh, phone bill. Yeah. And the phone bill lady did dick. Oh. <laughs> Not a cent. Nothing. Not a penny. This is the only program we offer that has all the, and goodbye, Mm. Goodbye, thank you. Hello, Verizon. Mm. Looking yeah. forward yeah, to uh, Verizon. doing Paul Giamatti, even yeah. though you don't make any new commercials. Because you don't make commercials, I'm still going the going that route with you with my, my three family. I, I, I am I going my mom I will off be, AT&T. As soon as I get all these medical Verizon. issues resolved, I will be going We're also to suspect of AT&T's store. politics, Mike. Yes, you know, amen. What they've, when amen. you were on the phone with DirecTV, did they bring up the fact that you were a longtime client, or did you have to bring it up? The first person I talked to told me I should get into the loyalty department. That That's they smart. Help with stuff That's like exactly that. right. They are and, so uh, scared of losing a customer, especially yes, yes. a twenty-year-plus customer. They'll do anything I don't know, but, for you. But but certainly the phone people don't give a shit. No, no. sorry about uh, my language. No, they don't. They don't. But they don't. And uh, you know, the phone people were. Um, oh, the phone people were. Good. Uh, the phone people were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you gotta You're get fine. to your pain. We yeah. get it. I remember. I think I. I thought I fractured a toe when I was younger. Somehow, mm-hmm. that was the worst pain of all the pains. Like you can have Sucks. bad back pain, yeah. but it's when something. It's you know what, Mike. It's something you use on a regular basis, and you take it for granted. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I'm one handed. That's uh, yeah. the way. I can't lift up a, a salt shaker. Yeah, you know, Mike, this it. will shock you. You don't have to shake yes. hands now, which is great. And yeah, I, I know you I've probably, always dreamed of that. You probably have a, a predestined, you know, thought of the way I am. I have never broken a bone. Ever. You haven't? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You of all people, the man that was, you know. At one point, your organs were failing. That's right. Has never broken a bone. He's yeah. fallen. He's I have fallen, fallen multiple yes. times. He's lucky he hasn't broken yeah. a bone. You're true. You're, you're, Mike, Even, you're true, duh. 
I shouldn't have said. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I've never broken a bone. No car accident. No. No falling off. You know, a stage ladder. No, none of that. <laughs> like, like in a theater production. Yes. Mike, the uh, when I was in Cats, the uh, elevator malfunction <laughs> nearly killed me. I don't. Know. I was Rum Tum Tugger, <laughs> and it nearly killed I, me. Uh, I texted with Rob Spiewak yesterday. Yes. Um, <laughs> After I, uh, I was running through my new uh, lineup. Yes, and it's. I wondered how you lighted on that. I, because well, I wanted to see if I had Turner Classic Movies, and I did. Good, which was great, and I had CNN and uh, and all the crap where you can, you know, uh, when I adjust get on- all the stuff you want, I get online anyway. So it's kind of like a a variant of cord cutting that yeah, I did. Yesterday. When I adjust yeah. on DirecTV, I start with Turner Classic Movies. Mm-hmm. I say I have to have a package that has that. Where can we go from there? And so, yeah, I'm glad That's you still have it. That's not what I did. I just said she took care of all of it. Yeah. She did. I said, I don't need all this. You and, don't uh, need AMC. You're going to re- you're gonna need to reprogram your remote so you're not seeing all the channels you don't have. Do you th- uh, yeah, this is true. This is true. And that's a pain. Do you yeah. think you... Not a pain like that. No, you you're poor you. guy's wincing. Yeah. yeah. I I'm feel bad. It's You know what it's like? It's like seeing your parents get sick. Or your grandparents. Right? Yeah. This isn't yeah. sick, though. This is just an injury that I did. Well, you don't want to see you together. in pain. You're really milking that back. I want. That helped. That helped. Uh, so anyway, you just can't have it flapping around. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it was really... It was really a breath of fresh air to do you have the home box office or are you streaming HBO? No, I don't have the home box office. Okay, no show. I'm streaming that. I'll do HBO Max. Yeah, Yeah. that's the way to do it. AT&T. Yeah. And uh, that's it. But with AT&T, you should get HBO Max. But it was stunning to me. They bone you. uh, What what do you pay for your phone? What do you pay for your phone a month? Uh, because we have four lines for the kids. Oh, so you're both taking care of your phone. Yeah, I'll ask Oscar that. Yeah, please What do you pay for your phone? $127. Okay. I I'm think a, ours is in the unlimited hundred. plan. I'm probably double that. I'm probably double that. Do you take I'm care of your wife and everybody else in your plan? Wife and son. Okay, so three I'd, lines. Um, yeah, so my wife and I are in separate plans. We haven't. Uh, I think that comes at a ten year anniversary, not uh, not five. Okay, I take care of everything else. She's, they got a big promotion. A I know if you've seen, uh, you I, know, Einstein and uh, Scrooge. I've and all carried. That. Yeah, I've carried the. I've, I, I joke, by the way, because um, in, in fairness to me. I have this legacy plan that gives you unlimited internet that the Verizon legally can't throttle because I bought it ten years ago. What do you mean they can't throttle? I'm confused. So if you buy an unlimited plan today, mm-hmm. off yeah. off the shelf, they will throttle your plan. Slow it down. Slow it down as you use more data. Over a decade ago, they had a fifty dollar unlimited data plan when fifty dollars is a lot of money for data. Yeah, and I had purchased that on top of my minutes plan. If you all remember when that happened, and and yeah, you got eighty texts a month. Yeah, so <laughs> so for me, when I got the letter from Verizon, they said, "Hi, um, just to let you know that we have this wonderful promotion that uh, we can get you off the unlimited plan if we go into this other plan." I could possibly be paying eighty dollars a month and get the same plan. Okay, all right, but this is this is the rub. If I take that plan. My legacy plan that they do not throttle. Right. So if we're on a, a remote broadcast and I have to broadcast off this phone. The original yeah. the original agreement yeah. you signed. Yes. Yeah. Because legally they offer They wipe it, it out. They wipe it out. Mm-hmm. And they, at so you, every month they send me something to wipe it out. That's what they right want to do. right now, how many lines do you have on your plan? One. Really? Yeah. See, if you look at the commercial, you should be getting that for $25. Yes. A month. Yeah. Correct. But I'm, I'm unlimited, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, I'm, the, I'm the reason Is Verizon that unlimited data unlimited data without throttling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I think I could go to uh, the moon and I better not look, slow down my Netflix. I wish you, know, you would. We're all we're, are we really free <laughs> in America? <laughs> no. Are we really really free? How no. do you know are more we? about this than I do? All we do is look at data plans for work. The, this is true, and yeah, once you hit a certain cap every month, they will bring your data rate down more and more They'll and more. Slow it down. Yeah, until you just yeah. basically have a crap data plan until the next month. I don't want to be slow, Mike. I want to be fast. Yeah, fast, fast, fast. I get it. I don't know what I need. That's how uh, yeah. out of it I am. Uh, but I will tell you, the uh, journey continues, and I, I just simply, when you're not going to work with me at all. Uh, I say cyanide. And yeah. I'm thinking about, hey, look, it, does it have to be the biggies? Does it have to be the biggies? Well, what's uh, Deadpool out there selling? Isn't he hawking yeah, something about too? To, uh, some, someone big is about to buy that. Yeah, he has his T-Mobile, own. if I'm not mistaken. What's the name of his Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile. You know what? And Ryan, I will tell you, screw you if that happens. 
Why? You know what I mean? Well, because you can't you make know a what? buck. He can't be a capitalist. Yeah, he didn't uh, set out to help us, Mike. He set out to make money. I get it. That's the way that works. That's unfortunate. And he makes That's gin. That's a drag for me. That's yeah. a, he makes gin too. So yeah. you know they all have it. Uh, but anyway, that's your la just, la la, Mike. I have a really... cell phone company and gin. La la la. That's him. yeah. La la. Yeah. Well, well if you uh, remember, Mike, and this is not a conspiracy, and I know I'm going to go political, but who cares? So what are they? They're they're AT and T helped build One America News. So you got to get rid of them anyways. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Although they're Direct TV, and I love Direct TV. Well, you know what? You got to choose who you dance with, Mike. No, I'm that's fine. I'm saying I, the lady was very helpful for me. So uh, that's that's one. But it, everybody should take the time to do that and make adjustments. And uh, you know, and uh, as we one afternoon our, makes a difference. It yeah. really does. It really is. It's just making the effort to do it and taking the time to pay attention to what you got. And I was very very happy. Did you hold on that. to Peacock, Mike? Uh, that was one of the ones that I, uh, Disney, oh, that was so satisfying. To get rid of because Disney? Because what I do, what, what everybody does this, you get a show that you want to see, that everybody's watching. Right. And they might have one every two years, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. One show that's like super crazy. Yes. And, uh, and things, everything, <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> and then you, uh, you take that and you subscribe for the free month or whatever that you're going to get. And then you forget. Of course, you always that's do. That's what they count on. They count on that, so it was so nice saying bye bye Disney, bye bye. You know, but do, you see, a, I have Disney Hulu, through through Hulu. a pack. Yeah, mine, yeah, I got the Hulu package. It's a pack and ESPN, yeah, which Robert plus, lives by. So plus, yeah, yeah. So uh, I I look at uh, I look at. Let me tell you what I look at on the TV. Yes, I look at uh, <laughs> Amazon Prime. Yes, and I and by the way, Netflix, which ba- you recently got, you bang for your let, buck. Let me just say mm-hmm. about Netflix, I don't know what they've done. Now, there, now, are there a lot of subtitles? Yes, there are, but it doesn't matter because there's some amazing content on Netflix. Yep. I was saying to my wife, who was doing her little phone business, selling skin cream last night, you know, supporting me. Are you sure Are husband. you sure she's doing business or is she maybe looking at TikTok she, as well? She might be playing a puzzle game. Yeah, I because I tend, so, when I watch TV, now I have to mentally tune out just, you know, six feet down the couch. That's that's the way But anywho, I'm going through this, and this is like one after the other after the other. I said, There are, I feel like I'm at a great restaurant with a large menu. That's how I felt about That's how I feel about none of the other ones. The TMOS bonus show subscription. You've got the TMOS bonus show subscription. Don't you dare, dare. Something for everybody. Yeah. America. I'll never, I'll never cut that one. Right, Pony? Because I don't pay for it anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's uh, it's truly, truly special to finally get somebody. And Tanya, if you are listening, as Tanya. I told you to, listen on this show. You are special, and you are wonderful, and you're right over there in Fort Lauderdale, which was fantastic. Because I... Was I, yeah. she really? How many, yeah. How many times? Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, how, yeah. Many times, how many times have you waded through, uh, you know... 15 people mm-hmm. that speaking our language is, well, they technically, I guess they do, yeah. but that's where it ends. And they also, they, the nuance is lost. And they you stick know? to the script. Don't the tell script me there's is, not a script. Yeah. There, there's there a script. Is. Absolutely. There's a script. And yeah. I, uh, there was a 15 minute script that I say, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'd like to speak to customer loyal. And mm. then finally, you I get bet there you get Mike. You all, what you all get is, I'm very sorry. You're going through this or having this difficulty. Maybe we can troubleshoot it right here. Yeah. That, it's just, and it's right off a page. Yeah, so yeah. I'm blissfully uh, happy. And then how much uh, for, did you save? You think over a hundred dollars a month? Uh, at least. Well, at I mean, least. you seem like that's a low $200 a month. Yes. That's a car payment. Well, not, yeah. not these days. It yeah. used to be. Yeah. No, but I mean that's that's how good it was. That's yes. amazing. Awesome. What a great maybe feeling. Maybe a little change on to maybe what a little a change great on top of that. Feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, do I have everything? I no, not even close, but I don't care. Got my local stations. Yeah. And uh I've got uh CNN and I've got my Fox News channel which I live by as you know. And uh you know, and I've and got my little uh, Turner old classic movies. movies. Yeah. Do yeah. You, did I don't you need a lot more? Are you still subscribing to Paramount Plus or have you ever subscribed to Paramount Plus? I don't remember but I don't think I I think I was and I'm not anymore. I like Paramount Plus cuz I went a little deeper and I didn't realize this that gives you access to all the Showtime titles. Oh, does it really? Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's Paramount Plus see, but I mean yeah. You, you get that with yeah, commercials, you, it's not you, much. You get it. Look, I eat the FX Plus is garbage. Yep. Uh AMC Plus, garbage. Discovery Plus, yes, garbage. My dog TV, 
Sansa's can watch reruns. I'm fine with that. Dog TV. Uh, reruns? Yeah, you got to pay to watch the new episodes. Dog, dog, dog TV. You don't hey, know about it's this? the dog tooth Mike, TV. we leave the house, and if we have to leave the house at home, there's yeah. a whole ritual where we put Sansa's on the couch in our little living room, and right. we throw dog TV on. I throw the latest episode, which is four hours of dogs playing in the park. Mm-hmm. And then he gets up on his little stoop and w- watches the TV while, and we leave. That's what I do with Carrie. <laughs> there it is. And she's happy as a clam. May I offer, <laughs> speaking of familia, may I offer a shout out to my boy again, please? Of course. And I don't call him my boy. Your yeah, who's your boy? His son, yeah. the boy. I, uh, my son, Michael. Yes. Who, uh, uh, one hundred on his uh, states of the southern the the southern region or whatever the hell it was. Uh, and oh my god, he's going through that thing where he has to learn about each of the states in a, in hunks, right? It's states and capital. Oh, the and worst. then the name yeah. of the state. Would you like? All right, uh, I'll give Rob the quiz because he's a, he he had a very good grades when he was yes. a child. Yes. What is the capital of South Carolina? South Carolina is it? Is it Burlington? No, no. What, what is it? Hell? Is Columbia. It, uh, Columbia. Okay. All right. And what is South Carolina referred to as? A drive-through you know state. You know how we've got the uh, the nutmeg state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. South Carolina. What is South Carolina? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know that it has. I it's know the it Palmetto has. State, Rob. Oh, mm-hmm. for like the bug. It's the palmetto or the tree. The yeah. tree. Yeah, yeah, but I think we know it's the bug. The, fa- yeah. the flora. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, how about uh, let's go to Alabama. That Alabama. What is the capital of a- Alabama? Is it not Birmingham? It's Montgomery. Ah, but Birmingham is in Alabama, so I'm getting closer. And what is Al- Alabama referred to as? The meth capital of the United States. The heart of Dixie. The heart yeah. of Dixie. Oh, well, that'll change. I'm doing this off give the top more, of my head. Give us I, more. This I is studied great. with I my like kids. This. I like this. Uh, Louisiana. Louisiana Baton Rouge. Uh, that is correct. That right. is the Thank capital. You. It means red and stick, Oscar. Louisiana is, I don't think it's that. Is it something to do with the bayou? I think it I'll might look. be It might be the Magnolia State, but I think I'm wrong about that. I think that's another southern state. Yeah, that would, that would maybe one of the Carolinas might be Magnolia. Mm-hmm. What is the Louisiana nickname? North Oscar? Carolina it's is Magnolia. not. Magnolia. North. No, it is the Magnolia. Look I got you. it right. Adam, Look North, you. Car- North Carolina is the Tar Heel State. Okay, that I can that I can see. What is the capital of North Carolina? Is it Charlotte? I think it's Raleigh. Raleigh, yes, makes sense. I'm horrible. I was never good with states and capitals. How about Georgia? Georgia is. You want to say Atlanta, but it's not Atlanta, is it? It is Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> But you, I don't and think you've got any called? of them right. Uh, what is Georgia, the state called? Uh, the, the Peach State. The Peach State. Yes, it is. Of you course. Yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, Florida was included, too. Okay. And that is uh, Tallahassee, the, Jacksonville. That's, no, Tallahassee that, is the capital, right? Tallahassee is the uh, right. is the capital of Florida. And yeah, I believe the nickname of Florida is the future of America. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Yeah. No, it's... Uh, it's the Sunshine like, Sunshine State, uh, and I bet they had to then, arm wrestle California for that. So one. he's uptight about it, and this is after coming off uh, one. It's just to see, I didn't get yeah. grades like he gets. He's got no. great I didn't recall. Get, yeah, I, he's got amazing right? recall. Yeah. He, what is he talking to me on the ride to school today? He is talking to me on the ride to school about it, it can be anything from uh, nuclear fusion uh, to oh my god. Of course, I can't retain. The conversation. Yeah. Well, you're, 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 you're paid. Because I'm a big wuss that's got a sore wrist. No, no, daddy no. With a sore fine. Uh, but he's going through all this stuff. He's on a field trip today. And he mm. hasn't had a field trip in his entire yeah. academic career. I would think COVID. that for the last three years, field trips were like an impossibility. They are going to the aquatic center up the road in Sarasota, Florida today. And he's going to see manatees and he's going to see dolphins. And he is out of his mind. And he's sitting next to his buddy, Kyler. And they're, they're, going, they're just unbelievably excited. And I felt, I mean, I'm, I, everything physically for me, throw out the window because I'm so happy for him and what he's going through. And he's just rattling off these statistics and these ideas and the brain, and I'm re- I realize on a daily basis, 
and for how so many of you parents know what I'm talking about. When your child is brighter than you are, it is the most amazing feeling in the world that you know he is able to just have all of yeah. these different interests yeah. and spew out this information, and it makes me, you know. I've had. He's given me. It makes you be with joy, right? It really like, does. He's going to be okay. Everything's yeah, going like, to be okay. And then the sweetness factor, where he's nine, comes in, and we put him down to bed. I put him down to bed, and he comes around the corner because he had to get up early today, a little earlier to go on this field trip. I said, "You got to go to bed." And he comes around. He's got his little pajama bottoms on. He doesn't have a shirt on. And he goes, "Dad, Dad," and I'm like, "What?" Well, you know, sitting there nursing my wrist. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, playing my video slots. I'm like. What? This is daddy time. And he goes, Dad, Dad. And I'm like, okay, come over here. He's like, Where's mom? And I'm thinking, what what do you want? Do you want yeah, to eat something? Yeah. Do you want a snack? He's like, I want to give her a hug. Oh, oh wow. my God. It was That's just the so heart's sweet. going thub a dump. Yeah. Thub a dump explode mm-hmm. with uh it's just it's great. Life is good. I'm He's not gonna tell you little about boy. Stuff. That's yeah. sweet. It's it's until he starts wonderful. pushing pushing you out of the way. <laughs> How long is that going to last, though, before? When did Luca make the switch? When did Robert oh, make the switch? Probably Luca just made the switch. He's be, 13, right? Luca, no, no. Luca now is 16. Oh, he's 16, yeah. so it, it goes to maybe no, 14 I think, or 15? I think, he, I, think, I think without a pandemic, because for two years, he, he, he like froze in time as a child. Okay, so he sure. didn't have the natural. He didn't have all the parents natural. Parents are crap. He, yes, so we we, we got overtime. We yeah. got, when we did got Robert overtime. make the flip? So well, Robert, 13, 13, 14. Robert was 13 a, or 14. was a right. really sweet kid when he was younger, but I think by the time he was like fourteen or fifteen weeks old. <laughs> oh no! Nah. Really, really? No, really, no really. I think 13, probably 14? probably about twelve. Twelve, 12 I yeah, think. 12. Twelve. Yeah, but you know what, Mike? Here's the good news: it comes back. Yeah. If they're innately good kids, it comes back. You're just going to have a really bad seven or eight years, and then it comes back. <laughs> and that's going to be that's going to be the seven or eight years where I'm kind of turning into, ah, yeah. Carla, Carla, <laughs> uh, something else fall, fell off of me. Mike, he might actually have, ah. a re- he might have a reason to hate you during those seven years. <laughs> no, I think I was uh, kinder to my dad because my dad was older. Yeah. I think I'm going to yeah. get the same thing from him. But, uh, you know. but he wasn't able to fix my wrist. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. But I have found a position that's absolutely comfortable, and uh, I'm uh, onward and upward when it comes to well, the show. Well, you look, well. you look good, yeah. Bob Dole. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Can you hold a pen in You're that? Fine. Can you hold a pen? No, in that? let's not mock a, a great American hero. <laughs> I'm not. Come on. I'm just. I'm. I'm helping Mike. <laughs> no. Oh, Mike. <laughs> this is again a great, a great video day. <laughs> Even in extraordinary pain, you bring me such joy. Pain dissipated. I, at the beginning of the show, when I took this thing off and I was hanging around, I thought I was going to, and I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it and say, please finish the show with it. No, I'm back. I'm back. Back, baby. All it takes is a little momentary easing of pain. Just like I say when I'm dealing with Pony each and every day. That's the way it works. Uh, we have to take a break. We will come back uh, with uh, something. Uh, oh, that's right. The homepage yes, right here. And HP. later in the program, uh, getting ready for the div- the the conference yes. championship games in both the AFC and the NFC. Nicholas Diamond will be here to talk football. Big show. We'll be right back, everybody. Huh? It may be cold outside, but the specials are on fire. Bueno. At Trader Mike's Discount Shack. Trader Mike is moving only a few feet to a new location. It's the Sistine Chapel on a floor that you can, you can eat. eat. And he's willing to do what it takes to make a deal. Check out these deals. I have acquired, over my lifetime, way too many golf clubs. Here. A lot of them are broken. I do have a shop vac. I have a squeegee, and I have a light bulb changer. Uh... Trader Mike is stacking the specials high and letting them fly. He's stacking them deep and selling them cheap. But that's not all. You can find more great deals through Target and Walmart when you click on the shopping center banner at MikeOMarasShow.com. Treat yourself. Hurry, Hurry folks, because, because these, these deals, deals are crazy. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Whoa, whoa. This portion of our program 
is brought to you by the good people at Liquid IV. I've told you about Liquid IV for a good long time. I love it. You're going to love it as well. And uh, I'm uh, I'm working on that right now. I love uh, texting uh, one of the team members because I'm a diva. Yes. During the show and saying Liquid IV strawberry. Yeah, you and can name the flavor. Strawberry. And yeah. then and then within yeah, let's be honest, 15 minutes, something comes. Yeah. Something with a delightful <laughs> a, pink hue, a vessel, and a wonderful flavor that will keep you yes. hydrated through the day. Yeah. Liquid IV has been with us longer than many of our yeah. clients, and it's a good thing to remind our listeners not only what a great partner they mm-hmm. are, but what a great product they make. It is amazing. Yeah, and there's no it. better way to maximize your day than by making sure you're feeling like your best self. Liquid IV is the category-winning hydration brand fueling your well-being, and their hydration multiplier just may be the one product you're missing in your daily routine. Mm. In just one stick, you get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration uh, mm. than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning. You can use it before a workout, after a workout, when you feel run down, after a long flight, after a night out. Mm. Uh, you know, you can take do it that before as well. you go out. Yeah, especially. liquid IV before you go out. Right, and That's after. Right. Yeah, after, uh, before, after, after. during. I like, to, I like to pregame and postgame. Attaboy. Uh, you know, it's wonderful. And uh, shower with it. All right, go ahead and uh, shower with it. You've That's never smelled better, Mike. I think it's fantastic stuff, and uh, it's great stuff. Some of it's really fine. Yeah, that's Grab a really your liquid IV great outfit. <laughs> in bulk uh, nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TMOS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device, it's what you need to know. This is the homepage. This is the homepage, ladies and gentlemen. And we start today. Where's my thing? Jeremy Renner was trying to save his nephew when he was crushed by his massive snow grooming machine. Oh, man. That's according to the newly released incident report from a Nevada sheriff's office. Police say Jeremy had just helped free his nephew's car from the snow when the vehicle started sliding sideways. Jeremy jumped out of it. But then he realized that it was heading towards his nephew. Uh, okay, so he freed his nephew's car mm-hmm. from the snow. Yeah. I guess the vehicle is the snow grooming machine, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's when he ran towards the uh, gro- He basically is trying to save his nephew. And you know, I Jeremy- love the fact that this didn't come out when he was originally talking about the story because he could have easily leaned on this, say, look Hero at me, factor, what I did. Yeah. yeah. He just said, thank you for caring about me, and it came out later. He didn't set the parking brake. It's funny, uh, you know, when my mom basically got run over by her own cars because she didn't pull it fully in park. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing, only with a devastatingly difficult machine and crushing machine. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy tried to jump back into the vehicle to divert or stop it in order to get back into the cab, though. He had to step on one of the tracks, which pulled him under oh, and, yeah. uh, and ran him over. Uh, while the uh, while the report states that uh, Jeremy didn't set the parking brake, it also suggests mechanical issues may have been a factor because the brake light indicator inside the cab uh, wasn't functioning. Oh, but, man. Uh, oh. man, oh, man, when you see the size of those things, you see how large they yeah. are. That is uh, really... Being scatty, sucked scatty. in by machinery is something that is really Lucky horrifying. to be alive. Absolutely. Uh, she's back in the news. Police did a welfare check on Britney Spears Tuesday night uh, at around 11. <laughs> There's no need for that applause. A wonderful time. At around 11 p.m., but they determined she wasn't in any danger. Uh, the reason they conducted the check was a little weird. Apparently, Britney deleted her Instagram account, which she's done like 50 times yeah, she does it in all the last the time. few years. Yeah. And her fans got worried and started calling. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Why did she delete her account? <laughs> that guy. Remember yeah, yeah. him? Chris Crocker. Uh, in, uh, <laughs> yeah, that you remember. Yeah. In recent weeks, Britney has been getting upset at a restaurant uh, when other pay- uh she got upset at a restaurant when other patrons started filming her uh, and supposedly changing her name to River Red. Okay, that that's was. not I okay. I watched that clip. Uh, it's, a, it's a little disturbing, but not... I don't know. I, I feel I feel like it's not off-brand for Britney Spears now, especially that now that she's free uh, to do what she wants from the conservative. <laughs> Leave Britney alone! There he is. <laughs> yeah. Please! 
that no, is possible. You don't go into <laughs> at Britney the- <laughs> Spears alone right now. Sorry. No. No. Uh, you don't go into a public place and not. Act- yeah, well, not, not at that level of celebrity. No, it's no. there were so many different angles of people's phones. There's a trash factor too. The weird Make thing no is that, about that when Britney she said the reason she deleted her account was she was saving her nephew. I don't understand that. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Uh, uh, let me get the uh, thing. Thank you. Giselle Bunchen was spotted uh, this week spending more quality time with the family jujitsu instructor. Look out! Mm. Yeah. His name, God, does this sound like a walking penis? <laughs> Joaquim Valente. Did he, Mike, does he say hello to her at any point? I'm just curious as I yeah, bait he, for uh, a he, tape. He, he walks in, walks <laughs> up. They, he, he has free reign to go right up the stairs into her bedroom, open the door and say, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's really this, good looking, too. Yeah, no, no lie. Of course he is. Yeah. Joaquim Valente. Mm-hmm. Uh, Giselle, <laughs> it's, time, it's time for your lesson. Now is the time you're you making the, the chop. Uh, they were horseback riding in uh, Costa Rica. Watch yourself, Please. counselor. Thank you. <laughs> Sources claim they're very close, but they don't have, quote, a traditional dating scenario. It sounds like that could change, though. Quote, whether or not it will ever become more rests on the table. A quote from who? A quote from who? Who's the quote from? You know? Give the owner of the jujitsu studio, Mike. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Tom Brady was asked what he thought, and he said, Hello. Uh, yes. For the record, Giselle's kids, uh, 13-year-old Benjamin and 10-year-old Vivian, uh, were along for the ride. So, well, I they guess they're in Costa Rica, right? Judicial. Correct. Yeah, Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, I uh, saw the picture. I saw that they were both on horseback. Yes, Same horse. Exciting. Nice, <laughs> different horse. Okay. Oscar follows all that stuff. Yeah. That's uh, all right, great list. Really, really good okay. list today. Mill- uh, millennials on Twitter have been talking about things that boomers love saying. I, I got three into it. I didn't want to read the rest because I wanted to be surprised oh, with good. you guys. Because uh, it, it, they're not wrong. Mm. Here are the highlights. I'll go. Uh, let me go 14 all Please. the way up to yeah. uh, number one. Uh, let me see. Uh, Boomers. Saying, number 14 is saying, not that there's anything wrong with that when it's uh, finding out someone's gay. Of course. That's Boomer. No, that's a given that's DJ a, shtick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, number 13, Rob did it yesterday. Landline, referring to the landline. No. Yes, well, I, I, I think I, you finally thing. cut it. Don't I get excused because I said I got rid of my landline? It's gone. Yeah. This one's no. I don't cop to this. Number twelve, pronouncing all the L's in the word tortilla. So tortilla. <laughs> yeah, make yourself a that's damn like, quesadilla. That's like yeah. That's <laughs> like Napoleon. Uh, number eleven. In all my years, I've used that. I am as guilty as anybody with that. Uh, number ten. Well, I guess it's free. When an item they want to buy isn't ringing up. Oh God! As a person, oh, I, I used never to said check. That. That's, I, I hate yeah, that. Yuck! Oh, people do uh, it. Have you ever used the term "What's the damage"? Yes, I have. Sure. When um, it causes, uh, you know, as far as how, it's, this how much is something costs. This is What's list. the damage? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see if this works uh, when handing over a credit card. <laughs> this is like the commercial. No. Yeah. You're becoming your dad. That's old. Uh, calling it pot instead of weed. That's a big one. I call it for grass. The, uh, boomers. <laughs> Calling it the COVID is a uh, is a boomer thing. Uh, and another one. Yes. Here, there, the, I, look, I'm so guilty on this, this is list. Great. Calling it the million dollar question. That's the million dollar question. Oh, that's horrible. That is so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> another one. These are fa- whoever curated this list. Smart. I give yeah. Hats off to you. Having sitting down and saying, "Sit here. I won't bite." Oh. <laughs> Gross. You said boomers saying that at like a I wedding. I think I've heard that yeah. before. And I've Number been, three, mm. phone tag. We use that term. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm, I'm playing a little phone tag with you. And number two is just nuke it. When something could be warmed up in a microwave, we say nuke it. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I've never said anything else. That's it's, it. It's different when President one, Biden says it, though. Uh, n- number one is I'm videoing this. Oh. <laughs> There they are. I'm videoing this. this. I have heard. Yeah. And that it's as gross as sit here. I won't bite. Oh, yeah. I love that. That yeah. is awesome. So I think true. they did a good job with yeah. that. So uh, kudos to whoever curated that. Uh, let me do You're listening to the One Handed Homepage. Uh, moving right along. Uh, here are some health advice items you shouldn't follow. The New York Times talked to leading health experts, asked them to name the top nutritional myths okay. or nutrition myths All right. that they're sick of hearing. Uh, myth number one, fresh fruit is healthier than frozen. Myth. Not true. 
Really? How Sometimes is that the possible? canned stuff has added sugar, but in general, canned, frozen, and dried fruit have all the same nutrients as fresh fruit, and it's cheaper. Why I've always heard dried to, fruit yeah. is yeah. Why do uh, we have is, to pay more? I, thought, I always thought that dried fruit was like a sugar bomb. You, know, you have to stay so away from dried fruit because without the additional water in it, you eat more, so you get more of the sugar for the why same. Why don't you take a big like thirty ounce glass of water when you eat your dried fruit? Then, well, I'm not the one who's eating dried fruit, but I guess you oh. could. I like dried fruit. Yes. Raisins. Raisins are wonderful. Uh, myth are they number not? two, plant-based milk is way healthier than cow's milk. Myth. Good. I it hate It does have fewer milk. calories and less fat, but cow's milk has more than twice the protein. I didn't know Ask that. your wrist about that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, wrist. Boniva. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the uh, plant-based version uh, also have added salt and sugar, so be careful. Yeah. Watch out for uh, salty milk, three, Mike. <laughs> Never give a toddler peanuts. Uh, that's a myth. We used to think eating them too early in life gave kids allergies. My son has a nut allergy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now experts think it's the exact opposite. Feeding them stuff with peanuts in it might help them avoid allergies. Well, thanks for telling me now. It's the only the thing my parents said. fed me for two years was peanuts. Peanuts? Yeah. Circus peanuts. Exactly. You've seen the, them. The, the, the sugar orange, ones. The orange marshmallow uh, ones, yes. Myth number four, it's really hard for vegetarians to get enough protein. No, that's a myth. As right. long as you eat enough uh, mix of veggies, it's easier than most people think. Nuts, grains, beans, Be- lots of protein right beans. there. And <laughs> beans. <laughs> because you asked for it. Rob, perhaps every day, yes. there'll be an opportunity. I just... God, I hate this soundboard! Would you like me to send it to you again? It's okay, Mike. Sad. It's okay. What, when, you know you're having a bad day, a bad Thursday. Yeah. Always on Thursday, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You're having a bad something. Thursday when you can't get what is an epic fart out yeah. on your yeah. soundboard. The seven-second uh, fart. Yeah. Myth Followed number five, it. basic nutritional advice changes constantly. The basic advice hasn't actually changed since the 50s. Don't eat too much and try to eat more plants than meat. That's Makes it. sense. Yeah. All right. There you go. You got it. So let's see what else I can screw up during No, this no, 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 no. It's fine. You're one 40 year old. Uh, well, hold on. I don't want that. There He's down go. a fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now a little something, something. Aha. Uh-huh. Wow. A 40 year old woman in Florida named Casey Brazale uh, went into a gas station convenience store on Monday, and at some point she started shoplifting. By the way, I know this because I've done this for a number of years. Get ready for the next month. It's it's going to be. I'm going to be conservative here. It will be 85 percent Florida kickers. Why is that? People go bat s down here this time. They're all down here now. Ah. People are down here. Mm. People are out of their minds. I watched the news today, and you might as well have been in Los Angeles. <laughs> it was that me- that much traffic crap going on. A little sheet of rain came in, yeah. and people went bat s. All right, 40 year old woman. Her name is Casey Brazil. Uh, she rolls into a gas station convenience store on Monday, and at some point, she started shoplifting, yeah. which people do down here yes. when they're 40. Uh, the female clerk caught her, and there was an argument. Casey made her way to the door, and the clerk ran over to confront her. According to the police report, Casey pushed her and then struck her with two Slim Jim beef sticks that she was stealing. My God. The police caught Casey, who admitted to the Slim Jim attack. She was arrested and uh, charged with simple assault and theft. We have a tape of what she said. Uh, They asked her why she did it, and she said, This looks like a good place to beat somebody with a Slim Jim. That's a... (laughs) That's a tribute to Macho, the late Macho Man Savage, who did the best Slim Jim commercials ever Ooh, done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get, this was like a good place to beat somebody up with a Slim Jim, brother. If you are struck with the giant smoked meat stick, that is assault. Yeah, but that's also that's a assault. category. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Florida. We'll be right back. There's lots to celebrate on the latest bonus show. We've hit 3,000 like Pete Rose. We need sun lamps in every single home in America. But for 3,000, I'm lucky to have you guys, and I'm very lucky to have our wonderful listeners. If you want fun and jocularity, you bring Rob. If you want execution and a job well done, you bring me. I'm come. right He's here. Out. I have a name. You know, sometimes I think about 3,000 shows, and I wonder how the F I actually made it. <laughs> Mike, but I got the, a bad case of being a sleepy. There is a chance that you you will receive a commemorative 3,000 show pin. Get a bonus show subscription and celebrate today. All you need to do is to send two box tops and the coupon from this Sunday's Parade magazine. Subscribe now at MikeOmeraShow.com. 
Thank you, Jim Amato. If you need a New Year's resolution idea, I have a suggestion. Stop putting it off and finally get life insurance. Fabric by Gerber Life is the easy, all-online solution that you, my friends, have been waiting for. Fabric's new lower prices could mean big savings over other providers with great quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. Mm. It takes less than 10 minutes to apply, see your quote, and then all you do is tailor your quote to fit your family's needs. Plus, Fabric has a 30-day money-back guarantee. Cancel at any time. Fabric by Gerber Life was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high-quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. You could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash TMOS. That's meetfabric.com slash TMOS. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash TMOS. Here we go. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Insurance Company, not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. Are we doing Nikki now or the next One more. Break? One, one more. more. One more break. Okay, so, welcome back. Uh, welcome back. To welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Hey, I'm Mike O'Mara. I'm an invalid. Great <laughs> I'm an us. invalid. Come on now. I, uh, Come on. I was watching the news yesterday. I saw Barack Obama. Our what was he president. Doing? Um, he, <laughs> it's, did he finally admit to being born elsewhere? No, no, no. Okay. How dare, how dare you that perpetuate was, that? That was just a joke. This is Come what, on. this is, this is where the Leesburg comes out in you. No, it's a joke. When you joke about it, you make it real. Uh, how I, dare you? Uh, people know I'm an idiot. Do you? Do you <laughs> <laughs> Isolate well, that. Well, <laughs> can I, can you send me that please? <laughs> sure. Pony. Please. Make oh, a note absolutely. of that. Absolutely. <laughs> Cause I think we weren't talking and it stood alone. Yeah, oh, no, we, we can get it. We can get it. Yeah. Do you, uh. Send that along with the fart. Do you? Play them at the same time. Well, this yeah. is, it's a byproduct of. Good uh, morning. It's a byproduct of these top secret documents being found in every, not every. In, it's not everybody, but it is not beginning everybody. to seem like it's a thing. It, and it's time so, to say, Donald, you slipped away again. Yep. That's fine. You greasy little Just guy. Just let it, I'd say, give it up, people. Yeah. They yes. all do it. It's not anything exclusive, uh, whatever. Well, you know? they're they're showing all past presidents that uh, the Library of Congress, I guess, yeah, uh, reached out to, just to say, it, this is what it felt like. It felt like a company that was getting audited by the IRS, <laughs> and they said, "Hey, do you have some of those documents? You might right. have taken them home while we were working from home that one weekend exactly. at Kenny Bugport. Yeah, let's exactly. figure out what's going yeah. on. Yeah, I think they need to just uh, everybody's got look every living president." Going through right now yes. to say, what do we have? And they're yes. all going to be honest about it. Yeah. And they're all going to be upfront about it. Yeah. And it's going to be fine. You know what? I think it's time sometimes that we focus on the good. And the good is that decision, in my humble opinion. Now, if it results in nuclear war, you can come back and tell me that I was wrong. But it won't matter because we're all going to be incinerated. But no, I'm very, very happy that we are sell- that we and Germany, Germany selling the, uh, uh, not selling, sending the, the, uh, the leopard. The leopard Abrams. tanks, yeah. The leopard tanks, or and America with their Abrams tanks mm-hmm. that are technologically superior. Here's what I have an issue with, though, with government bureaucracy. All mm-hmm. right, when well, he said it could be uh, weeks, perhaps months, before these tanks get there. If we were being invaded, all right, if NATO was being invaded, if Germany was being invaded, if they were trying to come over to France, I don't think it would be months for those tanks to get there. Do this you? Is, no. This is reminiscent of. And I'm not saying this is a look, and I'm a terrible historian. I'm, I'm trying to be better about this or, or a student of history because I'm not a historian. I'm an idiot. I, um, I remember the scene in the movie about Winston Churchill. Okay. okay. It's called Churchill. You're talking about the American, yes. uh, Americans getting into World War II. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he's on the phone in this bunker and he's asking President Roosevelt for the planes. Right. And if we just get if we could just get a few planes like this is mm-hmm. they're on the ropes right right mm-hmm. and he's like i just can't do that um well maybe if we if we pull the planes across the border to canada yep. uh, on horseback your guys can pick them up from canada and <laughs> then we right. can get them over same thing 
Doesn't it feel like that? Like yeah. it is the same thing. We can't yeah. get involved, I mean, but we can't get like involved. We've we've committed to it. Now get your asses in gear. And yeah. by the way, the industrial military complex. Okay, well, how much do we spend? Yeah, b- b- getting these things built, yeah. manufacturing these like, things. Let this is a great test drive for them, if, right? Mm-hmm. If you can import a beautiful saline tricked out vehicle from japan to vegas precisely for yes. uh, for an effing car show we can get a tank to ukraine thank yeah. you I, here. and and so i but i'm just gratified that because there's a part of me that says this country has exposed and i'm talking about russia exposed themselves yep. uh as posers mm-hmm. that uh, the big scary uh russian empire is not what they've said it was And yes, do they have nukes? Yeah, you have to be aware of that. Mm -hmm. They're crazies over there. But at the same time, uh, you know, they don't want to be annihilated, most of them. And uh, so I think this is a ground war and help Ukraine. And and look what they've done. Look look what uh, the Ukrainians have done with nothing, with nothing. So get those tanks over. And as far as those little... Oh, it's a leopard tank. We will send the leopard tank. Is that any relation to the panzer? <laughs> Is the panzer? So. Is the panzer? And by the way, I do like the uh, name Germany, the leopard tank. I think that's yeah. A but cool Germany, name. with your side of history, to be perfectly honest with you, uh-huh. you know, I mean, uh, don't you need a win? It's a little, yeah, uh, it's a little try, light, try, try a little harder, please. Try a little tenderness. <laughs> so get them over there and uh, and do it now. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about it, Rob? I think it's great that they're helping out, but they should be more urgent about it. Absolutely. What, what? It, took, it took too long to get to this point. Is tank okay. warfare antiquated, though? I feel like it's antiquated. No, it no it's not. Well, not for it's ground not, war. Not over there. Excuse no, me, I mean, Cody. over there, they're using tanks. Look at the look at the column that they blew up when they were first coming into Kiev. Mm-hmm. Remember that? That was tank after yep. tank after tank after they They were crappy tanks, but they were tanks nonetheless. I, I, That's what it was. It, it, I, there is a need. I just I don't know enough about um, modern warfare. I play too much uh, Call of Duty to feel oh. like I could just get a drone and drop a bomb, and then that's curtains. My son's playing a tournament and uh, said he could win five grand. Oh, now if that happens, I might cultivate that interest. Yeah, of he course. could be a. Well, an I would think so. You know? yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. So he's playing with his buddy, and they got into the top ten of their little competition. Nice. You know, I'm like, okay, that's has, fine. Uh, has your son learned at school yet uh, about percentages? <laughs> he will he will he was oh you know what he was talking about to me today he was talking about wanting to be a lawyer saying he likes to argue i said yeah you can say that again i get that and uh and just uh, enjoying that and he said and dad uh if i get a law degree that'll give me lots of options he's nine i love him he's nine he's years old it's i love smart. it it's you so know? great it's frightening though yeah. he's so he's so ahead of the Driven. game huh. yeah i was 14 and i was going around Man, my voice is deep enough. Maybe I can get a girl. <laughs> Options. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were 14. Where you working at the hardware store? And the guy's like. Yeah. That was 16. Oh, 16. What was the line? Cats Creative Decorating. What did he say to He you? went back to making it uh, Cats Hardware. I think he still owns it today. He's, He's got to be. He said, overall, uh, this isn't there. working out or something. Generally, <laughs> things haven't worked out. Yeah. And then my father was on the phone with him. And I remember my father's quote, well, not on your scale of values, Dick. Hangs up I'm like daddy. Wow. Only time my father, fi- uh, only time my father uh, fought a battle for me. That's my cool, father though. was uh, when we mooned uh, Robin Riley. Uh, well, I didn't moon her, but uh, the guys after we had been at Friendlies, uh, they mooned. We don't know Robin the story. Riley. We have this is Mike, first time I'm ever hearing the story. Never in my told life. this yes, story. Yeah. I never told this no, story. No, no, I, I tend to remember all, right. all mooning and stories. Anything involved I with friendlies. am hanging out as a sophomore. I'm hanging out with juniors and seniors. Mm-hmm. Okay, and or it might have been. Um, no, I was a sophomore because I was a dummy, and I'm hanging out with the older kids in high school. And one of the things I used to do was a fake sneeze. In somebody's hair. I didn't get any goo or wet or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. But I get him back and I go, eh, yeah, like that. And fun would ensue. Funny. Sure. So <laughs> what happens is I'm at Friendly's and Robin Riley's there and everybody used to, uh, you know, pick on Robin. I was a bully. There we no, go. I guess you that weren't. would be bullying. No, I'm, I'm, uh, so I do the fake sneeze uh, right next to Robin Riley and I go off uh, to the the senior table, and everybody's like, "Oh, oh, there's, oh there's funny <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, <laughs> can I sit here, boys? There we go, boys. And I said, so I sit at friendlies. I get up, I leave. The other guys leave too. The the upperclassmen, the upperclassmen are in a van, 
and they uh, take off in like one of their dad's or mom's vans and they see on route two Robin Riley driving the car. They don't see the passenger side. Mm. And they oh. drive and they pass her on Route 2 <laughs> and somebody slides open the door and moons her. Right. What they didn't know is that her mom was in the uh, passenger Ooh. side. Oh, you see, She's letting Robin drive. Mooning mm. is a sign of disrespect, Mike. The phone rings that evening at the O'Mara household. <laughs> and Mike O'Mara is summoned to the Glastonbury Police Department. Oh, oh. no. Yeah. And... Uh, I hear my dad on the phone. Go, okay. All right. And uh, they're all down there. You want them all down there at what time? At 7 o'clock? All right. Oh, no. I won't do that. Not necessary. Hangs up the phone. You're going down to the uh, police station for uh, something you did at Friendly's. What? Uh-huh. I don't know. It's your problem. Go down and deal with it. Wow. And I got down there and all the daddies. And you're a sophomore. And I'm a sophomore and all the daddies are next to their sons. And mm. my dad was like, you deal with it. You, you made that bed. You say, and then uh, it's just a, a kid thing. Right? Sure. So they're just going around it's the table. It's still scary. Yeah. It's still scary. But the one cop looks over and looks at me. And I, this is a direct quote. This is a true story. And looks over at me and says, okay, O'Mara, are you the sneezer? <laughs> true story that's great that true is great. so story. somebody had already given some she had mentioned me yeah yeah in the entire story of the entire evening and what had happened okay and because she mentioned me by name you got pulled uh, in let's round them all up yeah and uh and bring them down there how was the and, uh how was uh, the, got, per, the perp line for identification did they all they to, were all there and, did they have uh, to the face one, the wall <laughs> I know the guy that mooned her because he was the same guy that used to streak. Oh, he, he was, was one of those? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he liked, you know. There, sure. We, I have one in college, too. I yeah. have one in college. That they're, they're guys that just like to show their balls, period. Yeah. They're just, uh, they're right, out there. Pony? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, you Tim know, Allen, sometimes you have to. You know, <laughs> by the way. But this is just to add this to the list of why I can't run for how did, but, but how did you I roll? Guess. How did you roll out of there? You just he, yeah, he, he said, don't do it again, blah, blah. You That's guys are next time, and this is going to be a heavy What'd bye, your dad bye. say? See you later. He didn't say a goddamn word to me. Oh. He was listening to a symphony, smoking a cigarette, and drinking Birkenberry blended whiskey. <laughs> I didn't say anything to him. <laughs> Went right up to bed. Good night, Good night Mom. <laughs> I don't want to talk to Dad. <laughs> I love you, Father. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're doing it again. I love it. <laughs> it I know it's been a long time since love the music. Me, but the boss sent out a proclamation that we all have to listen to. Now, he wants you to share the show. That means let your friends tell their friends and their other friends that the Michael Mara Show is on the air. And they can go to TMOS.com to check out the bonus show. And they can go <laughs> on the TikTok and the Instagram for snippets of the show. Do it today, the boss asks you. And let your friends be a friend of ours. Capiche, we now return you to the man, the myth, the legend, Mike O'Mara. Thanks, Paulie. Hey, January means resolutions, fitness goals, and lifestyle changes. But if you really want to put the new you to the test, Harry's can help you, my friends. Whether you want to go from big foot to competitive swimmer uh, or be the innovator who brings back the soul patch. Nice! Nice! (laughs) Harry's has the tools for your closest, cleanest shave ever. We all use Harry's because we all love Harry's. I have all the things and stuff. And right now, the Truman Shave Trial Set is a $15 value for just $3 at harrys.com slash TMOS. It includes a five-blade German-engineered razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. Plus, you, ladies and gentlemen, can schedule replacement blade delivery whenever you need them with refills as low as $2 each. And Harry's is still offering a no-risk trial. Don't like your shave? No worries. On them. No matter how new your new you is, look sharp all year long with Harry's. Get a $15 Truman Shave trial set for just $3. Yes, Nikki. At harrys.com slash TMOS. That's harrys.com slash TMOS for a $3 trial set. All right, NFL fans. Time to bring the man in, the legend, Nicholas Diamond, to talk about the NFL as we wind it down, baby. Uh, Yeah, my team's not in it, but I will tell you, I'm pretty excited, especially with the NFC, because I believe we've got the uh, two 
best teams in the championship game. And now, with a very blurry background, which means he might be in the witness protection program, we give you the one, the only, Nicholas Diamond. Hi, Nikki. How are you today? I am well, Mike. And yes, uh, the blur, it's, uh, it's a metaphor for right now. I'm in an in-between phase. <laughs> Not quite sure where I'm headed, but I do believe I can see clearly into the future and i believe that my situation is about to greatly improve and in oh, really? two weeks i will tell you all about that on the season finale of nikki diamond <laughs> the season finale <laughs> wow there is uh i, nikki, I have to say there is something about your particular look today that uh is, is that really lulu winning lemon to... you're wearing <laughs> What's that there, Bermuda boy? It just seems like it's athletic gear that's not usually your style. Well, you know, it's when I, I went on the treadmill, and listened to all 3,000 episodes. I had quite the workout. <laughs> Burned 15 oh, God. calories. Yeah. So many me. steps, Nikki. Uh, Nikki, <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, it has been a, I think, look, maybe because I'm uh, biased because of my Giants having the year they had, it's been a fun, interesting NFL season. I've enjoyed it. I think it's been uh, it's been a great season. What do you think? Well, I think it's been a great season because I don't ever remember a time where we've got to four left and there's no real favorite. There's no right. real underdog. All four, you can make the case. They're they're one A, one B, one. They're right there. Yep. And so it, it, the four best teams have made it. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, Jimmy Cerrito. I don't know what to tell you. The Giants. You had a great run, but you know yes. at some point you get to your your max. Yeah. You maxed out on the team this year. You got. Did you, you pick the Bills, Mike? Uh, <laughs> did you pick the Bills? You picked the Bills, didn't you? We look forward, Mike. We look forward. That's what we do. We're forward facing. It's not about TMOS 3000. It's about the TMOS, the next 3000. Yes, We're always yes. moving. Yes. Very you good. Well done. Never, right. ever Fantastic. relax. Look back. That's awesome. All right. You're either moving ahead. forward or you're moving backwards. Somebody said that. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. Or running with my athletic gear, Bermuda boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to the down to four. It's down to four. Let's get to the big games this weekend, Nicholas Diamond. We'll start with the Eagles and the 49ers. Uh, Brock Purdy, what what a rookie. A, a full, fifth time now rookies have played in the nice. NFC or AFC title game. They are 0-4. Oh about to be 0-5. Oh blowing yeah. 5. Not blowing for you, for Purdy. Yeah. Look, the Eagles, they have the third most sacks in the history of the NFL, the most since the 85 Bears. You remember them? They were incredible. Wow. My God. Wow. So they're going to Super Bowl shuffle all the way <laughs> to the Super Bowl. But also bet on D. Glow Samuel to get yourself an anytime touchdown. Absolutely. And then, of course, more the Chiefs and the Bengals. Patrick Mahomes, he has a high ankle sprain. I once got high and sprained my ankle. I, I didn't miss a night out. So, hey, we are not the same. Suck it up, Patty, baby. It's just an ankle. You throw with your arm. You have an arm. You are going to can it, okay? You don't need a friggin' ankle. You'll be just fine. You Nobody beats the Chiefs four times in a row. Are you serious, Joe Burrow? Get out of here with this cigar, okay? Eli Apple, you're trash. Yeah, you're great on Twitter. Well, then just retire and stay on Twitter. You can't play corner. You're going to get... Burnt, okay, I'm gonna go the Chiefs with your fantasy player of the week, the Carla. It's not Patrick McLones, it's Isaiah Pacheco. He's gonna run for two touchdowns, baby. And I know where you heard it here first. Nikki Diamond, it's gonna be a great Super Bowl. We'll be back in two weeks with my new home. And oh, I am so excited <laughs> to wow. live my baby. See you at the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> I can't understand him. I feel like I'm looking. I feel like I'm watching Young Frankenstein. That's what I feel like. <laughs> and he's gone. That's it. We got to get out of here. We're running late. What were come back. Again? <laughs> he picked the Eagles and he picked the Chiefs. Thank you, Mike. Real quick. How bad is uh, Mahomes' uh, ankle sprain? That's what I want to know. Uh, there's a video around? circulating of him uh, stepping off a podium from a press conference. <laughs> he did. He did land flat. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Mike, Ooh, and real quick, yeah. I want to mention that Nikki Diamond says if you want to laugh, you can bet. On McGoobies. Let's do it. The smart money McGoobies is on David Keckner. Yes, uh, Mike, the smart money's on David Keckner and a guy named Rob Mayer for the best stand up and 
Office Trivia with Todd Packer, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th at Magoobies, magoobiesjokehouse.com. All sales Do are it. final. Do it. Hey, before we go to commercial break oh, here. stop that. Uh, AT&T free message. Valued customer, thanks for doing business with AT&T. We'll text you soon for some, come on, god damn it. Uh, we'll text you soon for some feedback about your contact with Myra. No. Oh, you're going to get feedback. Oh, here we go. Myra, who did Bupkis. Now, mm. Tanya, Tanya. Direct TV did yeah. everything. Yeah. I mean, everything. That sounded <laughs> filthy. Now you can hit the thing. God almighty. We've got the Town of Sound coming up next on the Mike O'Mara oh, Show. Myra. <laughs> oh, Myra. Oh, Myra, Myra, Myra. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Oh, Myra, Myra, Myra. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Twitch. Will you be an angel for a helpless creature? It's a new year, and it's also a renewed chance to show you care. Do you have room in your heart this year? Do you have room in your home? Do you have room to adopt Jim Amato? I won't take up much room. For just pennies a day, Jim Amato can live comfortably in your home. I'm almost completely housebroken. Those same pennies a day will bring you a year's worth of joy and laughter when you subscribe to the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. I'll mow your lawn. And remember, if you're cold, Jim Amato is cold. I'm so cold. Bring him inside with you. <laughs> sad. Thank you. So, so sad. Uh, welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara Show. And can I just say, Mickey Diamond, what a great season. And yes. always a pleasure. I look forward to his Super Bowl report coming up in a uh, couple of weeks here. And uh, I agree with his pit. Nah, I don't know. I think Joe Burrow's got uh, the Chiefs number. And I don't think that they, uh, you know, with the snow and everything, we'll see. I don't know. Let me, what am I going to go? With? That's why they play the game, Mike. We got to do it. I got to do it today. So you I'm going to go Philadelphia as much as I hate to see Philadelphia win. I think they're going to win. And I think I'm going to go with Cincinnati. Cincinnati's going to win oh the uh, Chiefs. Uh, really? Game. A, yeah. That's uh, what Chiefs, I think. Chiefs, uh, San Fran. My Chief. Oh, boy. San Fran. That'll be fun. Uh, a lot of us are still inside. Chiefs. What's that? I say Philly's Chiefs. Not Philly Chiefs. Chiefs. Eagles okay. Chiefs, yeah. This is football. What's so. that? <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have stayed quiet there when you wanted to participate. Philly. Well, and I think that's noble. Thank I, you. It's noble. Thank you. All right. I call them so the Philly. Rob has, Rob has the Flyers. Uh, <laughs> a lot of us are stuck inside uh, wondering what else is out there, uh, but feeling like it takes too much time and effort to explore. But now you can discover it all with fun, fast, and foldable Electric e bike mm. From quick errands to outdoor adventures, electric e-bikes will transform how you get around. They cost way less than the competition with quality feature-filled models financed as low as $133 per month. You can go up to 45 miles on a charge and reach up to 28 miles per hour with the powerful 500-watt motor, which is now quieter. Plus, electric e-bikes are foldable. They ship free. They are fully assembled. You'll be on the road in no time. A stronger rear rack woo, supports <laughs> everything you need for day-to-day -day rides or longer trips. Oscar is flying all over yes. the district. you got to come to D.C. just to see him. You can't miss him. If you come to this city, you want to go see the monuments, you want to come to the Smithsonian, you'll be sitting there you know, walking in and saying, man, that was a full-size plane they put in there, and all of a sudden you'll hear... <laughs> and Oscar will go flying by That's on his electric e-bike. Yep. It's incredible. Uh, get out there and make this year your most adventurous one yet with electric e-bikes. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more. That's L-E-C-T-R-I-C, ebikes.com. And it's time for the Town of Sound, people. Sound. 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 We call this stereophonic sound. Sound town. Just remember the Super Bowl, Mike. Phillies and Royals. It's going to be Phillies big. and Royals. It's going to be amazing. MVP not, George hey, by Brett. the way, <laughs> if it's not the Reds Giants. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you see the uh, tape of the guy from Uber Eats on the basketball court? No. It was a McDonald's delivery mm -hmm. from Uber Eats, and the guy wanders onto the <laughs> basketball court while play is going on. Oh, my God. I had not seen that. And the the thing is, is he's so aimless in his wandering. And then the uh, the ref, they reference the fact that the ref is receiving the food. The ref is not receiving the food. He just tells the guy, 
to is get this an off. NBA? Is this an NBA game? This was no. This is Loyola last night. The Loyola oh, it's a college game. Loyola. game it's but a college it's Division game. One college. Yeah, right. it's a big deal. It's a sold out. It's a sold out stadium. And then All right. this guy Arena. just wanders on. We got an officials timeout. Somebody came on the floor. Uber Eats delivery or something there is carrying some McDonald's. Maybe, was he going to deliver the <laughs> McDonald's to somebody on the court? That's an Uber Eats sticker. Let's see if we can see this. No, this is going to be the turnover in the There he court. is. There, right there, 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 there he is. Like, yay, yay. So this a, guy is actually, who's he delivering it to? The ref. The, the, the ref said later. Give it to me later. Not I mean, now. He was later seen on the concourse still looking for the person he's, to give the McDonald's food. He's so on they the never, court. They never saw the delivery. He no, has the drink did. and the straw. As a man who's received McDonald's from Uber Eats, this is a, a classic uh, move where the satchel is sealed, the ba- the drink and the straw is on top, pro move, Yeah. except he's walking around <laughs> the arena <laughs> like he's walking around an open gym. Mike, he was That's... about he was about three or four feet from actual gameplay. Yeah, he, he was on the court. The he was ball. on the court. Okay, yeah. here's the main question I have. Yeah. How does he get in there without a ticket? How is he able to walk into the 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 game uh, with a Division One school? You have to have a, I would probably assume a, a student. Ticket. Student, a student, a student like a student, 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 have you ever gone to a movie theater and requested fresh popcorn? Never. No. Yeah. Who would ever have you? do that? No, I never have. And the fact okay. is, you shouldn't. In fact, I never have. In fact, I never have, Mike. This mm-hmm. is a viral video from a snack bar employee at a movie theater who says, don't ask for fresh popcorn. I need the freshest popcorn. I need you to make me a batch right now. And if you don't, I'm not getting any. You actually don't want the popcorn that's directly out of the kettle because it's so hot. It's still this like warm like mush ball. It's not good. You want popcorn that has been sitting there for an hour or so, maybe. We're making popcorn all day long. It's not been sitting there for days on end, but popcorn actually doesn't go stale for at least about a week, but you're never going to have popcorn a week old at a movie theater, just so you know. So you don't need it to be fresh. Actually, you don't want it to be fresh. I thought that was fascinating. Oh, thank you, Mr. Redenbacher. (laughs) And also, Mike, I have to mention this for Carrie because she had a crush on this young man back in 1977. Does the name Lance Kerwin mean anything to you? I, it sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't know. No, he played James in James at fifteen, no he don't need no which was a drama, the first no drama to really embrace what it was no like to be a teen, and he was the star of it. And this is late seventies, seventy-seven into seventy-eight. Yeah. Well, I was eighteen, so you it might have been it might have been too young for you then. But James was seventeen, and I was eighteen. Well, James was fifteen. And then oh. 16. They actually changed the name and the theme song to James at 16. And then Elvis died and everything. And everyone went to crap. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so rest terrible. in peace. James uh, Kerwin, he was 62. The weird thing is, is when a child star dies, all the other child stars, like, come to life and post on Twitter. And it's very, it's creepy because I see people that are roughly my age that, like, were in Escape to Witch Mountain talking about how horrifying this is. But What did the guy with the big Schwanstucker say? Uh, Screech, what did he? Did he have something My, to say? He about? doesn't say anything anymore. He's yeah, dead. he's died. Oh, Screech is yeah, dead. Yeah, Screech, yeah, yeah, is yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. Screech died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Shortly after okay. the fake porno he made, right? Nah, well, he had a good five-year run, but before the Bayside reboot uh, came out. Yeah, yeah, and perhaps it was best. He was not well liked. Uh, Man, Mar- I swear to God, Screech is dead. And Mario uh, Lopez is going to live forever. <laughs> Strange, strange world. And your it? hand hurts. It's yeah. nothing's fair. That's not fair. So this is, I loved this because I count me among them. This is what Pearl Jam sounds like to people who are not fans of Pearl Jam. So I'm not a particular Pearl Jam fan. You're you're close. Hate it. I not a fan. Never been a fan. I'm a fan, but this is funny. <laughs> you gotta laugh at this. I might do that tomorrow. What's I that? might do a, I, I might do a mashup of uh, your own rendition. I'll do a Pearl Jam and uh, <laughs> of even no. flow. Nah, I'll be too. I won't have enough energy to do that. Mike, I think you you're a fighter. <laughs> you're f- freedom. Shoot a bit of bird. I'm gonna get a bird. A bit of little Majaro. And if there's only diabetes, I'll avert a bird.
Bye. That's all I got. Oh, that's it. We're done. Yeah. Uh, that, hey, I made it. All right. You did, Adam Boy. You did it. You're a very fighter. Proud of <laughs> I got a position that didn't hurt. I, I couldn't find one at the beginning of the show. I swear to God, it was weird. Mm. So hopefully, I'll tell you something. My doc. He's a new doc that I got. And he's like, well, I don't think it's anything to worry about. Just give it a couple of days. I'm smacking him with my good hand. Yes. Okay. It's been two days already. Ass. Anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bonus show, people. Subscribe to our bonus show. Yes. Make sure you go grab that. It's really, really good. Our thanks to Nikki Diamond. And we'll be back with a bonus show tomorrow. And for all the people that said those incredibly nice things about 3,000. God bless you. all you real good. Yes. We'll see you in New Orleans on April 15th. And tickets, a couple of them are still available. Four tickets like to get are your tickets. Yeah. Four tickets left for uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, April 15th at the House of Blues for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. Michael Mara saying so long, everybody. And send me the fart, Rob. Of course. And may God bless. <laughs> yes. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment. Hello. 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 I think I just wet myself.